Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. We have a couple of fun problems to calculate the areas. Problem one, start with the right triangle. On one leg, construct a semicircle with the radius equal to three. On the other leg, construct a semicircle with the radius equal to four. The two semicircles intersect along the hypotenuse of the right triangle. What is the value of the following shaded areas? These are the areas of the semicircle outside the right triangle and their overlap inside the right triangle. This is from the 2023 UKMT IMC question 21. And I thank Raphael for the suggestion. Problem two. There's an interesting history to the 50 pence coin. Until about the 1500s, Europe mostly used Roman numerals and were slow to adopt the decimal numeral system that originated in India. Prior to 1971, there were 12 pennies to a shilling and 20 shillings to a pound. After decimalization, the pound was divided into 100 pence, and that meant new coins such as the one pence, five pence, 10 pence, and 50 pence coin. But, the 50 pence design proved difficult. It needed to be identifiable by touch, sight, size, weight, and it must roll smoothly because many things such as parking meters and vending machines required coins that rolled. So how did they figure it out? Eventually they consulted with mathematical textbooks and thought of rouleau polygons, which are shapes of constant width. Here are a few rouleau polygons. The most famous is the Rouleau Triangle. What's interesting about all of these shapes is that they're formed by taking a polygon and then having circular arcs centered at each vertex of the polygon. This gives the interesting property that as you roll any of these shapes, it will be a constant width. You're not gonna change the height as this coin is rolling. So now to the mathematical problem. The 50 pence coin is mathematically made up of seven equal arcs, where each arc is formed by a circle that's centered on the vertex opposite the midpoint of the arc. If each of these circles have a radius equal to one, show that the area of the coin is equal to pi over two minus seven over two multiplied by the tangent of pi over 14. I thank McKinsey for the suggestion. This problem is adapted from the 1987 STEP Specimen Paper 1, and the STEP Specimen Paper is a test that's used in university admissions in such places as Cambridge and the University of Warwick. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. Let's solve problem one. So how do we get started? First, we'll calculate the side length of the right triangle. This length is three and this length will be four. So the side lengths are six and eight. Now let's label each region. Let's say this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, and this is E. We want to calculate A plus C plus E. Let's write down equations for areas that we can calculate much easier. We know that a plus b plus c will be the area of the semicircle with the radius equal to three. c plus d plus e will be the area of the semicircle with the radius equal to four. Finally, b plus c plus d will be the area of the right triangle with legs of six and eight. So let's manipulate these equations. Let's imagine adding the first two equations. So we get a plus b plus c plus c plus d plus e. Then we'll subtract the third equation. So we're subtracting b plus c plus d. Now notice the b's will cancel, one of the c terms will cancel, and this d term will cancel. We are left with a plus c plus e, which is exactly what we want to calculate. So now we just need to do this calculation. We take the sum of the areas of the semicircles and subtract the area of the right triangle. So the first semicircle has an area of pi times three squared over two, 
The second is pi times four squared over two, and the right triangle has an area of six times eight over two. So this simplifies to be nine pi over two plus 16 pi over two minus 24, which equals 25 pi over two minus 24, which is approximately equal to 15.270. And that's the answer to the first problem. Now let's solve problem two. So how can we solve the problem? Let's first rotate the coin. Our strategy is we are going to figure out the area of this pizza slice. This goes to the center of the coin. Now notice this pizza slice is not a circular sector, although it looks like one. The circular sector for the arc is actually centered at the opposite vertex, which is shown by the blue circular sector. But what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the area of one of these green slices, and then we can multiply it by seven to figure out the area of the entire coin. So let's figure that out. Let's zoom in. Now let's suppose the central angle of this pizza slice is equal to A. Now if we go all the way around from the center, that will of course be 360 degrees or two pi radians. So A will be one over seven of two pi radians. So A is equal to two pi divided by seven. Let's now form this straight line segment, constructing two isosceles triangles. Let's label each of these angles as B. Now we know that if we go all the way around, we're going to be two pi radians. So we have two B plus A is equal to two pi. So we can solve this equation for B to get that b is equal to six pi over seven. Now we formed two congruent isosceles triangles. So the remaining angles will be equal to each other and let's say they're equal to c. So we have c and c. Now in this triangle, we have two c plus b is equal to pi because the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to pi radians. So we can solve this equation for c to get that c is equal to pi over 14. So we're now pretty much ready to do the main calculation. We will first calculate the area of this circular sector. The area of a circular sector is r squared over two multiplied by theta. In this case, we have r squared multiplied by two c, the central angle is two c, and then we divide by two. Since r is equal to one and c is equal to pi over 14, this simplifies to be pi over 14. We now need to subtract the area of two of these isosceles triangles. Let's first figure out the area of one triangle. Construct a perpendicular. Now we have a triangle where the base is equal to one and we divide this into two segments of one half. So the length of the height will be equal to one half multiplied by the tangent of C and the base is equal to one. So the area of the triangle is one half times the base of one times the height, which is one half times tangent of C. This simplifies to be tangent of pi over 14 all over four. Now we want the area of two triangles. So this will be one half times the tangent of pi over 14. So we now take the area of the circular sector, subtract the areas of two triangles, and we get the area of this wedge, and that will be equal to pi over 14 minus one half times the tangent of pi over 14. To get the area of the entire coin, we multiply this by seven, so we get seven w is equal to pi over two minus seven over two times the tangent of pi over 14. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.